Um, not giving them fragmented care so that social and health care is separate. We need to work together. Put ourselves around a patient, a person, not them around us. Why should people seek support for their, their health and care needs in different places? Um, that doesn't make sense to me at all. People don't want to contact lots of different places. They don't want to tell their story multiple times. Um, the NHS is fragmented. We all need to acknowledge that. It is. Um, but we're working very hard in Healthy World to, to bring all, all those component parts together and to collaborate. And I think that social care is an, an absolutely essential part of that collaboration. So that for the people of Wirral receiving more streamlined and, and effective care, it's critical that we have social care as part of that. Now on the ground of my practice, I am noticing changes already and, and progress in this. So I can now ask for input for somebody from a multidisciplinary team including social care, whereas previously uh, I had to, to um, send people in different directions, fill in multiple forms, and they didn't link together around person. So I'm happy to say that some integrated care is happening. But in order to facilitate the best kind of joined up care we can, I believe that not only provision, but commissioning needs to come together to, to integrate. Uh, we know that, that both social care and um, health care for Wirral have a finite resource and I don't, that doesn't matter whether we're talking about workforce or about uh, finance, it, it, it is finite. Um, I believe our duty is to achieve the best outcomes we can for people within the resources that, that we're allocated. Um, and we need to work together as commissioners to do that. Um, that allows us to have better shared understanding. The presence on the Joint Committee Board, the, the input from your council, uh, council representatives who, who are on that board, is absolutely essential for us to hear, to be, to be able to make um, good decisions and shared understanding. The presence of those elected members really enhances our decision making. And, and I think it's only by working together and to be able to see our combined resource um, that actually we can do with the best of the people of Wirral. Um, so that was my statement. If, if, I can, if I've got a few seconds, I'd like to just dispel a couple of myths that have been uh, mentioned here about the CCG. Uh, we are not in special measures. We are in what's called legal directions. Um, so, so yes, we have... Um, uh, directions from NHS England that, that, that we have to follow, that is not special measures. And the 19 million um, is not a deficit position for, for, uh, for the CCG. Our projected deficit is in, in the region of about um, 5 million or so. Um, the 19 million is, is what we uh, have been asked to try and make savings on in order to bring us to a controlled total of two million surplus, which is the request of NHS England, which, which we don't choose. Um, our allocation is decided by Parliament, by an Act of Parliament. Um, so I just wanted to be clear about what that 90 million was and we're not in special measures. Thank you, Dr. Miles. We're going to take questions now. I'll take Christina first, Tony Northbrook. Thank you for that, um, Dr. Ross. I don't think, that, or in my mind, the discussion isn't particularly about the notes or otherwise joining together, because clearly joining together is a sensible thing to do, and anybody who think about that as being a sensible thing. What the concern is, is that the agreement itself. Um, which you didn't touch on, which I think is, is what is concerning a number of my colleagues, in that you tell us, no, you're not in special measures, you're in something. Um, you tell us it's not 19 million, but it's something. Um, I, I'm not quite sure if the money that goes in is equal for what comes out. I'm, not, I'm still not sure where our statutory duties lie. 
and still concerned as to why one set goes away to get their decisions ratified while the other one doesn't. And those are the sort of things we're concerned about. I don't think the rest of it is what we're concerned about. I think we all accept that, that it has to be for the people that are coming there and, as you say, one, one answer is it's far better. Um, but would you not have concerns? Say you were going to go to partnership with somebody who was actually in deficit, and would you not be a little concerned and want a quite strengthening of that contract with them? Um, thank you, um, Councillor Musbrack. So, um, if I could clarify there about decision making. Um, when we started having um, joint um, uh, boards together, um, it was true that at that time we had to take some decisions back to governing body um, separately to ratify them because the governing body membership at that point wasn't for it. Um, we realised that that was a, uh, an issue and so we, we now ensure that, course, that the entire governing body is for it um, and from April onwards the, the dates are going to be absolutely identical so, so, um, so we will not have to take the decisions anywhere for ratification. So, so you're saying that your whole governing body will be there? Well, yes.